This is a quick tutorial on a new feature of HeXCAD that's kind of buried, a little bit hard to find, but it looks pretty useful. Um, what I have here is a model that I've designed in a 2D CAD program and brought in so it's oriented in the XY axis with Z up pointing directly at us. And I have a couple parts here that will move. Uh, this piece and this will move around this axis. What I'd like to do is simulate that motion and see how the pieces fit together. So I can select the two parts that I want to move together and create a group. This only works on groups, so if you only have one piece to move, you may have to create a, another solid uh, um, and call it a handle or something to group together. Um, when I have the group selected, you'll see in the properties that there's this custom grippers property, and I can turn that on. And that opens up um, additional properties for the datum, which is the, it's going to be the location of the group handle, or of the gripper handle. And then X, Y, and Z are um, additional handles for, uh, uh, for the custom gripper. So if I rotate this around a little bit, you'll see that I've got the datum mark here and a handle here, here, and in here. The X is the round one. And what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of a line through the center of the axle for these pieces to rotate around. And that line is defined as uh, the line between the datum and the X handle. Um, I can position any of these things using these controls here or by manually entering the coordinates if I know them. And uh, I do know the coordinates, so I'm going to actually key mine in. Um, I have to open it up here and then uh, enter the coordinates with the keypad. Heeks has kind of an annoying habit of collapsing the tree when you enter data. Now I'm going to enter the same coordinates for X and Y on the X handle. But I'm going to put the X handle out on Z a ways. And it really doesn't matter how far. Now if I zoom in here and rotate, you'll see that my data mark has moved to the center here and my X handle is out here. The remaining two handles are hidden right in here and down here and I could reposition those if I wanted to. Uh, let's just move PY and we'll put it out here. Now that this is uh, the datum and my X coordinate are positioned, grabbing onto either of the other two will cause my group to rotate around that axis. And this is independent of the screen orientation, so I can simulate the motion and see what's happening. That's it. Pretty handy feature. Give it a try.